Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven again, and you are listening to the Helios Raven's Nest video blog. Let me just turn that down. Um, in case anyone's wondering, it's the new Green Lantern animated film, Green Lantern First Flight. Um, today we're going to do how to paint faces using um, a mix of the new paints and the old paints. Um, so let's see. Um, the style that I'm going to use today is going to involve the Elf Flesh, the Dwarf Flesh, the Bronze Flesh, the Talon Flesh Foundation Paint, and the Ogren Flesh Wash. Okay. So, we're going to use basically our little um, mini heads. Um, sorry if the thing's out of focus. Um, what we're going to do is... Let's see if I can get um, a better... There, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these. Um, now I don't paint the heads at all because I like to paint the flesh first because I think that it's easier to fix um, imperfections with the um, on the helmets via the flesh than it is to paint off imperfections on the flesh via from painting the helmet. So what we're first going to do is put on our base coat, which is Talon Flesh. Our face is painted. Um, let's see if I can get a better zoom in here. There we go. Okay, so he's painted up all nice and ready to go. So now the next thing we do is we're going to give him a wash with the Ogren Flesh um, wash. So I'm going to put that on. The foundation paint tends to dry fairly fast so you can go on right to the next stage fairly quickly which is to paint the what you do is you take the Ogren flesh here and you go over the int yeah, you go over the entire face of the model with the Ogren flesh now one thing to keep in mind is the Ogren f the new washes don't um, really darken, like darken the um, paint, like the old um, inks used to do. It more what this actually does is use is um, go on very clearly, and actually gets deeper. It gets right into the crevices of the miniature. It does darken the tone slightly, but not as much. So it gives a more natural look rather than this weird paint look. Okay, so... Okay, see there. It's a little better paint look on there. Usually I put about two coats of um, Ogren Fletch on the model, so since this does take a little bit of time to dry, I'm going to pause and we'll be back in a second. Okay, everyone, we are back. The Ogren flesh has dried up a little bit, so we're going to put on our second coat. Okay, now as you can see, it's got sl some dark lines, but the entire face isn't like isn't completely dark. You can actually see most of the um, original um, base paint on there. It's just slightly darker, which gives a little bit more definition. So once this um, um, layer dries, we're going to move on to the next stage. So I'm going to again pause the camera, and I'll be back when we're ready for the final step. Everyone, we're back, and the final. Um, um, coat of Ogren Flesh is dried, um, mostly good enough for this exercise. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick our final flesh tone for this. Um, this one I decided I'm going to go with a um, 
dwarf dwarf flesh look. So what we do is we're gonna take the the um uh, the flesh tone. I'm gonna put a very little bit of it on the brush and then we're going to dry brush. For those who don't know what dry brushing is, dry brushing is taking the pink color that you want to paint, putting it, taking a very light load of it so it's on your brush so there's practically none of it on there, and then you lightly go across the um, model with it, so, okay, like so. And there we are. The face is painted, and all that's left to do is the eyes. Now, the head was a little, um, still a little wet, so it doesn't look too great, but I'm going to show you a model that used a, where I used this trick on, and actually came out a little bit better, so, yeah, let's see, right there. The um, faces, you know, got its highlights and it's got its regions of dark shadow areas. And that was all used using the same with the hands. The hands have a little bit more of a um, natural look than rather than this um, drawn on look, as you can see from the um, points of the fingers. So that's all been using this technique that we're showing right here. Okay. The next one is the next part is painting on the eyes. Now, there's lots of different ways to do this. Um, some of the classics is painting white circles and then putting a black dot, dot in the center. If, um, uh, in my experiences, that ten tends to give you a Rock Lee um, look. If, for those who don't know, um, um, you can either Google it or you can just look up Naruto. Um, it's a character there. He's got these plain white eyes and then these two black dots and it looks really bad. It's also meant for some humor, but what I find what produces the best eye effect is taking the whole eye and painting the entire eye black. Now that the... Um, gonna try and get this thing there we go now the eyes are completely black so what's be the benefit of this um, paint style is is you can get the face then to look at pretty much in any direction you wish if you want I'm looking off to one side if you want to look um, dead ahead wherever you want you can make the um, model do that with this technique so we're gonna use we're going to use, um, let's see, let me get a good, uh, this guy. This model head, as you can see, he's sort of aiming down the side of the gun. So we're going to give him a look where he's looking down the sides of the barrel of the gun. Okay, now. So what we then do is with the skull white, put him. And now all I did was I took a little bit of skull white and I painted it on the very edges of his eyes. Now I didn't really follow the pattern I was going for because I kind of lost my train of thought at the end there. But all I did was take a little bit of skull white and painted it in the on the corners. So now he's got more natural looking eye. Um, and there you go. This is um, Helios Raven. Um, any questions, comments, um, video requests, feel free to leave a comment. And I will talk to you next time.